Hello everyone, Carrie Bradford here, and today I'm going to show you how you can bring your DXF files into the standard Silhouette Studio Edition, as well as bring in SVG and DXF files into the Designer Edition. Now I know up here it says that I have the Designer Edition, but we're going to pretend that it doesn't really say that. Um, <laughs> I just, I, my my screen recording program is only on my main computer and so this is the only way I can show you how to do it. So what I will be showing you is exactly what you would be able to do if you were only in the standard um, studio edition. So the methods that you have available to you to bring in the DXF files are to either you can come up here and go to file and open and then choose an image and then it would come in like this. You can also choose to bring, you know, if you have a list of files, you can just simply click on one of those and click and drag and bring it into the software just like that. I believe it's the same way in Windows. I am using a Mac, but I believe you can do the same thing in Windows. Um, the other way that you can do this is to add it to your My Library. And with the standard edition using the DXF files, you can only import them one at a time. So what we would do is we'd come up to File, choose import to my library and I'm gonna just click on this leaves word and then if I wanted to add keywords so I just would add fall and then I could put spring and maybe seasons whatever the words it is that you want you can add into here you could add a description if you'd like you can add the artist and you can add the category it happens to be a regular cut Anything you add in here will become a searchable item so that when you go to use your My Library, it becomes a searchable word and it will come up with these things. So if you had the artist as Carrie Bradford and you searched for Carrie Bradford, it would come up with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And as you can see, if we come into the My Library, we can scroll down and we have the word leaves right there and click on it and it just brings it right in with the rest of the stuff. So that's how you can add the DXF files from outside sources into your library or just use them with, you know, within your document screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and just clear this off so it's not so messy. And we are magically transported now to our designer edition. <laughs> and the way that you can bring in the DXF and SVG files in the designer edition, they work the same way as what I just showed you for the standard edition. But also, you can use the drag and drop method. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my library. And I have my list of DXF files. And I'm just going to grab these first few uh, images here. And I'm going to click and drag them into this window. We don't want to bring them over into here. We want to just bring them into this window. And if we let go, then we can see that we get those words that I just added. So if I come up here. It's got a beautiful world, and the DXF files will just be an outline. This one happens to show in color, but th they will come in as an outline form. So you'll see that we have blue sky, we have clouds, and we have our flowers word. Now, let's show you what happens when we do it with the SVG files. These SVG files happen to be colored. So when we bring them in, they're going to show in color, which is really kind of nice because, you know, it kind of sets it off from everything else. And, you know, sometimes, you know, that visual reference as far as picking out a color, you know, re you remember, oh, gosh, I know that was green or whatever. And you can remember and it's easier to kind of search through. So I'm just going to come over here and let's go into our SVG directory. And I'm just going to click on these last few and hold down my mouse key, click and drag into this area not over here, but to here, and then let my mouse go. And if we scroll down, you can see we now have our words. We have water and windy and trees and sunset and sunrise. So now that brings that into our software. It's added to our library. It was all done very simply. It's very much like using the studio files. It's just an SVG form. Now there is one difference um, when you're pulling in an SVG file into um, your open window. And let me show you what happens here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the sunrise. And if I come up here to my cut lines, you'll see that there are no cut lines. According to Silhouette, 
SVG files contain multiple lines where some may be for cutting and some may be for printing. So you need to turn on the lines yourself. Now, um, also according to Silhouette, the best way to bring in your SVG files is to do it through file open. However, this other method does work and, and I have no problem with it. However, I did notice that when you, you know, you add it to your library, if I were to click on my shape and try to add my cut edges, it doesn't show up. What I had to do is do a right click and choose convert to path and then you can see that the lines show up. So that might be also something that you might need to um, look at when you're actually going through and working with your SVG files. If I use the file open method, I usually can just, you know, go up to the cut style window and add the cut edge that way. So there you have it. You know, adding your SVG files or DXF files is something that you can do really quickly, very similar to what you're already doing with Studio. There really isn't a lot of difference just in the, you know, the, the basic method to it. So that's it. I hope that helps you with your SVG and DXF files. And thanks for stopping by.